Peter Yan has quickly become the most feared fighter in the UFC's bantamweight division. The former ACB and UFC bantamweight champion has dominated the whole of the bantamweight division with crisp, clean boxing, spinning kicks, and a dangerous wrestling game. He's been flawless at bantamweight except for a DQ loss at UFC 259 against Aljamain Sterling that lost him his title, but he's bounced back with an amazing striking clinic against Corey Sanhagen for the UFC bantamweight interim title and will be facing champion Aljamain Sterling in a rematch in the co-main event of UFC 273. But how good is he? Let's find out. Peter Yan has trained in ITF Taekwondo and boxing from a very young age. Before the UFC, he compiled an 8-1 record where he captured the ACB bantamweight title. In January of 2018, Yan signed a contract with the UFC and debuted at Fight Night 132 against Teruto Ishihara, winning the fight by TKO in the first round. Yan was linked to facing number 14, Douglas Silva de Andrade, but pulled out. Jin Su Sun stepped in and weighed one pound over the limit, turning the bout into a 136-pound catchweight at Fight Night 136. Yan dominated the fight to win a unanimous decision and a fight of the night bonus. The bout against Douglas Silva was set for UFC 232, with Yan winning by a second round TKO after Silva's corner threw in the towel. Yan then fought former flyweight title challenger John Dodson at Fight Night 145. Yan landed hard punches and kicks to keep Dodson against the cage to score a unanimous decision win. Yan faced bantamweight contender Jimmy Rivera at UFC 238. Jimmy used feints, head movement, and level changes to give Yan his biggest challenge yet. Yan probed with his jab and constant pressure to keep Jimmy from landing more powerful shots. Yan landed hard strikes in the clinch with body hooks and leg kicks. Yan eventually secured a unanimous decision win. Yan would be out of competition from June till December after a surgery to correct synovitis in his elbow. Yan faced former WEC featherweight champion Uriah Faber at UFC 245. Yan completely outworked the aging legend, outstriking him and stuffing all three of his takedowns before KOing him in the third round. Yan would become very vocal against the new bantamweight champion Henry Cejudo after he jumped up from flyweight to capture the title, claiming that he had been ducking him. After Henry Cejudo vacated the title after retiring, Peter Yan faced Jose Aldo, the former UFC featherweight champion, at UFC 251 for the vacant UFC bantamweight title. Yan dominated Aldo with absolute pressure, winning the striking exchanges. In the fifth round, Yan dropped Aldo and rained down strikes to win and capture the bantamweight title. Yan faced Division Three wrestler Aljamain Sterling at UFC 259. Yan dominated the fight, stuffing 16 of 17 takedowns while landing all of his seven takedowns against Aljo. But tragedy struck when Yan hit Aljo with a brutal knee while he was on the ground. Aljo could not continue, disqualifying Yan and making Aljo the new bantamweight champion. The two were supposed to rematch at UFC 267 after Sterling had surgery for a neck injury back from his wrestling career, but the surgery didn't fully fix it and Aljo pulled out. Yan stayed on the card and faced Corey Sanhagen for the UFC interim title. Yan easily outstruck the flashy striker Corey Sanhagen throughout five rounds to capture the UFC interim bantamweight title. And Peter Yan will face Aljamain Sterling at UFC 273 tonight for a rematch to unify the titles. So how good is Peter Yan? I think he's possibly one of the greatest bantamweights with his crisp, clean boxing, underrated wrestling game, and amazing pressure. If he defeats Aljo and goes on to keep defending his title, I could really see him becoming the greatest bantamweight of all time. As for tonight's fight, I definitely see Peter Yan winning by unanimous decision, dominating just like the first fight.